Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. Really quick, I just wanted to talk about dream interpretation and give you a version of me interpreting my dreams, right? So a very common thing that pops up in my dreams is snakes. Um, you know, symbolism and, you know, metaphors and whatnot, they can mean something different to every single person. And that's why this universal language um, that we all speak um, kind of this telepathic language, um, we can discern messages, not just in our dreams, but from the universe using our third eye, but it's kind of like learning a new language, right? You don't get um, tangible stuff. You don't get somebody standing in front of you saying, this is what this means, this is what this means. It's like you get a series of images, visuals, feelings um you know it's like speaking a telepathic language and this is why people get crap readings when you know they're talking to a medium and a medium's like all right let me channel your message but then they're like all right i'm getting a picture of an apple um in their head so they're like ah this means that you need to eat more fruits <laughs> and the person getting the reading is like what like i already eat a lot of fruit like that doesn't really resonate with me when you know okay so it's basically about translating so the medium that was giving the reading they could have got a clear picture of an apple but um it's that apple is going to mean something different to those two different people the person giving the reading and the one getting the reading right and the message could have been so meaningful and so powerful if this person would have been translating the message correctly. If, you know, this person's like, you need to eat more fruits. I'm getting a picture of an apple. When if she would have interpreted it correctly, like have, having that inner knowing, that's why uh, before you start giving people psychic readings, you need to like have a strong sense of inner knowing and connecting to that person's energy. Um, because if you have that stronger sense, you're just going to intuitively feel uh, what the message would be, right? So maybe a more skilled reader would get the, the picture of an apple and be like, ah, I'm actually just getting the sense that you had like some kind of, I don't know, I'm just picturing it on a desk um, in a teacher's office. Like I'm guessing you had some sort of teacher that you really looked up to or something. Cause I see a little girl like looking up to this teacher, but I see the apple on the desk and that's that part's very important, right? And you're thinking, oh my God, yes, exactly. Um, blah, 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 that was the message I was looking for because I wanted clarity on something, but since you just took me back to my second grade teacher, somebody who I looked up to and blah, 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 this was something I was learning at that time, so it makes so much sense that I need to do this. Like, you never know what's, what's gonna be important to somebody. So, you know, in dreams, it's kind of the same stuff, right? Like, we can interpret our dreams or we can even consult, you know, a professional that's been, uh, you know, reading dreams or whatever, but you can pull information. So I always see snakes. I always see snakes. So I always like, you know, Google and look up and read about like, what does this mean? You know, what, what did the ancients think? What did uh, these religions think? What did, you know, I want to get different opinions before I kind of discern for myself what that means for me, right? And it, more than just snakes, it would be like I'd have cages and cages and cages of snakes everywhere. And I would just, they would be like pouring out of the cages. And I'm like, ah, like fighting to get them all, you know, in the cages. And I'd be fearful, which um, some of you know that I own a snake. I love snakes. I feel like they're um, very symbolic and very, you know, I love the rebirth symbology and metaphors of of the snake and I feel like we're very much energetically connected and I feel like my snake I guess I don't know if every snake but mine is very much healing it's very much a healer like I'll put my snake around my neck and it's like it knows I need it it's like an energy bath right so we'll both be like healing each other and stuff it's pretty cool but um so I have no reason to be fearful of snakes um, so yeah, it's interesting that in my dreams, I'm like, ah, trying to fight them and put them back into the cage. I've even stopped them from attacking children. Like there's been times where they were like 
you know, headed over the grass, these big, like 12 foot long snakes trying to go get these kids on the grass. And I'm like, ah, and it, I guess it's my responsibility to get them. And um, I even had a, a, a dream a while ago where a big, like super fat snake ate my pit bull, my, my old pit bull that, um, has passed away by now but yeah it just interesting things with the themes of snakes and i never felt like it had something to do with like deception i never felt like it had anything to do with a lot of the meanings that i was looking up i was just nothing was resonating with me but finally after like a year of me trying to figure out what this means to me i was watching some videos and they were kind of going over how um some of the people in the music industry um have these like have symbology within their music videos and how certain things are meaningful to certain things like um a lot of people will do the garden of eden um and they'll also be holding a snake like the garden of eden will represent all this stuff and at the end they were talking about how the snake is representative um to basically like the garden of eden and the snake and whatnot is representative to them basically making a deal uh with the devil and all this stuff <laughs> for fame and money and whatever they want however that goes that's not what i'm here to talk about today i'm just kind of talking about symbology and how in the garden of eden it's very symbolic of you know with this with the serpent in the garden of eden it's very symbolic for giving into your temptations as eve did right um as adam and eve did and so that like slapped me in the face i was like oh my god because this whole time i've had temptations right in front of me and i've been fighting temptation um, with certain things in my life uh you know taking a lot of my time and my energy um fighting my own temptations and fighting my own attachments and every time that i'm really in the thick of it you know my dreams are presenting this symbology to me and now that i know um what it means to me that it has direct correlation to temptation and you'll know that it's right for you and that meaning is your meaning because when you hear it you're either going to be like ah eh, you know that i don't really think that's what it means or you're going to be like oh, like you're going to vibrate and be like yes this is literally what it means to me like this is it like you're just gonna know right um so yeah i don't know you guys i don't know if that makes sense at all i don't know if you guys do any kind of dream interpreting for yourselves but i just thought that was kind of cool i wanted to share my experience because now that i know what that means i can move forward and it, when i have those dreams in the future um i can pay more attention to what it actually means i can pull deeper meanings from it but i just wanted to kind of throw it out there you guys if you like this video um go ahead and give me a big thumbs up if you have not subscribed do that now and we can go over all kinds of cool stuff on my channel together um i recently started getting more personal this is this would probably be one of my more personal videos opposed to my more educational uh more well thought out videos this is just kind of like a rant and an idea that i had so do you guys have any experiences with your dreams or interpreting your dreams or just crazy ones and you know maybe we can help you interpret it together comment below tell me your stories you guys i want you to have an amazing day Mwah. namaste <laughs>